Hello, my name is Eric Gregori, and this uh, this is a video about the mechatronics using the IMX33 base chumbi and the Freescale mechatronics board. So, what is mechatronics? Mechatronics is a system that combines sensors, actuators, and intelligence. A uh, quick overview of the chumbi. Uh, the chumbi that's uh, the chumbi is a a Freescale IMX233 based uh, product with using the Freescale IMX233 454 MHz ARM9 processor. Uh, the Chumbi is an off-the-shelf item that you can buy. It's a very powerful Linux computer. You can buy them from Best Buy, as I'll show you in the next slide. Um, it's just it's a great uh, embedded Linux system for projects. I can't speak highly uh, highly enough of it. Um, and, and then for the price, this I pulled this out of an ad today from Best Buy. So uh, uh, Best Buy has their Insignia brand, which is a rebranded Chumbi One. And uh, I actually just bought one of these the other day for the normal price of ninety nine bucks. Now it's down to eighty bucks. So for eighty bucks, you're getting a four hundred and fifty four megahertz Linux computer, embedded Linux computer. And the people at Chumbi have done just a phenomenal job of making the making the uh, the Chumbi easy to hack, easy to work with. It, it's um, as you'll see in this video. So this is just a block diagram of the Chumbi. Uh, as you can see, there's actually quite a lot to it. It's got three and a half inch color touch screen, 64 meg of RAM. It's got a, a internal two gig or one gig SD card. I think this one, the one from Best Buy, I think is a one gig SD card. But it's more than enough for what you need to do. It's got built-in FM radio. It's got built-in Wi-Fi. It's just it's a it's a very nice. Um, and again, as I said before, I mean, you can't beat the Chumbi in terms of an embedded uh, Linux device, in terms of support, in terms of openness. The people at Chumbi just do a great job. They answer your questions on the forums. They, they help you out. They actually help you hack it. They, there's a bunch of scripts that come pre-installed in the Chumbi that make hacking it just incredibly easy. Uh, this is the Freescale Mechatronics board. Uh, it can control up to eight servos. I only got four servos connected now. It's also got uh, two um, slots for sensors and that can be either a three axis accelerometer it happens to be the same one that's in the Chumbi or a pressure sensor or a touch a capacitive touch sensor um, the the mechatronics board can run entirely on its own so you can actually install firmware into it and run it as a standalone device or you can plug it in like for instance into a host uh, system either Windows or Linux and control it from there in this case the Mechatronics support is actually plugged into the Chumbi via USB. And just some general features of the boards uh, of the board. Uh, it's got built-in BDM, so you can plug in a USB cable into it and do onboard debugging. Um, it supports MQX, which is a very powerful RTOS. It's a tower board, so it'll plug into the tower system and is compatible with other Freescale tower boards. So you have additional memory, sensors, processors. There's Wi-Fi capabilities. Um, it's got uh, it's it works either by itself in this case of this demo or it plugs into the tower. Um, it's also got built-in RS-232, built-in USB on the go, um, and it's got a, 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 a 5 volt power supply built into the board to provide 5 volts for external sensors. So if you wanted to connect up an external um, like I squared C or SPI sensor like a uh, ultrasonic range finder or sharp infrared sensor. Um, you can get more information about this board at TowerGeeks.org. And um, so now I'm going to cover how to control the mechatronics board uh, from the Chumbi over USB. Uh, first thing we got to do is set up the Chumbi. So what we're going to do is step one, we're going to push the button on top of the Chumbi. Then we're going to select settings. Then we're going to select device info. Then in the upper right corner, you're going to see a little pie. We're going to select that, and that's one of these little hacker. Now, this is an off-the-shelf. I haven't modified this in any way. This is an off-the-shelf Chumbi from Best Buy. And what, what, the, what the hackers, what the people at Chumbi have done is they've added this little hacker screen. So if you click on that, if you push on that little pie in the upper right corner, you get into this little hackles, hacker screen, and you know, do you believe in the users from the Matrix, of course. Uh, select SSHD which is going to uh, enable the uh, secure shell daemon. And then go ahead and download TerraTerm at this IP address, or URL, sorry. And then when you get TerraTerm and you get it installed and everything, go ahead and put in the IP address of your Chumbi, select SSH, 
port is 22, SSH2, and then unspec. Uh, your username is root. And there you go. I'm logged into the Chumbi. Again, this is, this is no, we haven't even started hacking yet. This is what the, the providers at Chumbi have given us to work with, which is just phenomenally cool. So um, what I did here is I changed directory into mount storage. And that's like, a, that's about a half a gig area that you're allowed to play in. It's writable. So you can write files to it. It's just a, a basically a user area. And then um, what we're going to do is we need to go ahead and download the the binary the executables to control the board so um, I, I'll give you the source too if you go ahead and do a wget on www.robotc.com forward slash mech count and if you want the source you can also pull www.robotc.com mech count uh, mechcontrol.c. Um, there is actually uh, available from the chumby forums there is a full tool set a GCC tool set built to actually run on the Chumbi. You actually you take the file, you put it onto a USB stick, plug it in the back of the Chumbi, and you literally install the tools on the Chumbi. It's really cool. So if you go ahead and do that, you can also build the, your file, your C files right on the Chumbi. But you don't have to. I give you the binary here. Go ahead and chmod 777 machine count, or I'm sorry, mech control, and then go ahead and mod probe USB serial vendor equals OX2504 product equals OX300. What that's going to do is that's going to load the serial to USB driver in the Chumbi. Um, and that, that comes pre-installed in the Chumbi. You just need to tell it to load and give it a vendor and product ID. And then um, this is just a screen showing you all the stuff that I just described. And then to move to servos, the, the command line is mech, <laughs> mech, Con, it's supposed to be machine control. Uh, device command data, and device is going to be in this case device TTY USB zero, and then command is uh, depending on what you want to do. So like O one moves servo one, O two is going to move servo two, three is going to move servo three, four is going to move servo four, and then uh, if you use O nine, you can actually move all four servos at the same time. So CD forward slash mount forward slash uh, storage. And then if I type dot forward slash capital Mac, okay, it, it is case sensitive because it's a uh, Linux. So, so this window up here that I'm typing in is actually logged into a Chumbi. And I explain how to do that in the presentation. And what you're going to do is you're going to give it device. So dot forward slash Mac count. And our device in this case is uh, TTY USB zero. Zero, so let's say zero one and then give it a number, let's just say, uh, it's in decimal, so uh, 200. So the servo, so that, that controls servo 1, and then we'll go change it to 2. You can see the servos move, and then this controls servo 3, okay, and then this controls servo 4. Okay, so now the next thing I can do is I can give it a command which is 9, and I can specify all four servos at the same time. So we'll go, um, uh, let's say, 50, 100, 150, 200. You see the servos all move at the same time. And then we'll go the opposite way 200, 150, 100. 50. You see how the mover, servos move. So then, just to give you an idea of range, the range is from zero, zero, from zero, okay, and then up to 255. Okay, so then, so and you can move the servos in any position, anywhere in between there. So zero. Uh, 75, 150, uh, 225. Okay, and you can do all that from the command line. Uh, so what, which means that from uh, from Chumbi, you'll be able to control it from a, sh a shell script. You'll be able to control it from Perl, from uh, the Flash player that's in the Chumbi. So it's actually a very robust command and very easy to control the servos on the Freescale Mechatronic board. It happens to be right there.